Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, just real, real, real quick. Uh, what a geek was busy for a couple weeks. We told you about it in Stadium for if you're also watching Stadium. Okay, uh, we're Take pretty- Take a left. Uh, uh, well, uh, I, I, well, the game kind of took the wheel for a second there. That was odd. Sycamore Pokemon Lab. Oh yeah, we haven't been to a Pokemon Lab yet, have we? Yeah, and now yeah. we have. That's weird. Usually that's at the beginning of the game. Usually the Pokemon well, yeah. Lab, for whatever reason, is in your tiny rural town. Yeah, and you normally end up getting your Pokemon either from the professor there or somewhere nearby your town. It, but instead, this time you got it from some dumpy friend of yours. Uh, <laughs> is it, am I supposed to be moving very, um, slowly? What what's what's the word? Uh, it's just going in eight directions, and I'm using the stick. Yeah, usually whenever you're in a building, or sorry, every time you're in a building, you'll be going in eight directions. Gotcha. Okay, good to know. Also, before I forget, um, people wanted to address that there are other trades you can get up to before the eighth gym, where I claimed that that was the case. Uh, but uh, in my defense, when I was using Cerebi.net, which people constantly tell us you should use instead of Bulbapedia, and I went to uh, the Gen 6 X and Y page, where I went to the in-game trades page, it organized it to where Farfetch was first, then Bisharp, and th which is in uh, the final city, like the 8th gym <laughs> town. Then it tells you you can get the uh, starter that Shauna picked, and then it tells you you can get the Ralts from the champion, then you can get a Steelix from the second gym town. Then it tells you can give a, a magic art from a random hotel. I don't know, from just any hotel. And uh, then another one for an Eevee in a random hotel. So it's not organized correctly. So how can you blame me for- It's just, just in whatever order they felt like. <laughs> how can you blame me for missing out on Steelix at that point? Uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Because you should have known better. That I should thing. have known better. That's that's the thing with Pokemon sites, though. I feel like every site is better at a different thing. It sucks trying to find info. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, don't get me wrong. Cerebi is great. It's great at very specific things, I find. Like, yeah. you know where it really saved me? When I had to get the national decks in my in-game trade-only run of Pokemon Platinum where to look for various um, Pokemon within the region to register it in your decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a whole page just on getting the national decks and telling you like what trainer you can fight and where they are to get it in your deck so you can get it. Also, I've heard this song a thousand times in people's YouTube videos and I've never known what it's from. And I always assumed it was a Zelda thing. <laughs> and so now that I'm hearing it in a Pokemon game, it's like weirding me out. I always assumed it was a Zelda song. I didn't know from like Wind Waker. Huh. Okay. Turns out Professor Sycamore is actually F Professor Sycamore is actually the king of red lions. I don't know who that what? is. What? He's it's the, the boat. chip. Okay. He's a boat. Got it. I've never played Wind Waker. I've watched some speed runs. They look fun. Hey, twenty six is not bad. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, considering we spent a lot of time looking at Pokemon. <laughs> we did. I don't like his beard. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Yeah. No, it's a little beard. Oh. Okay. I was confused. I see this is the level of comedy we're going for today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean today? Well, welcome to we're in a massive rush to get this recorded. We have like no time. Brandon was free one day this week for like a couple hours at the end of the week. I have to edit all this the same day. And earlier today, it was implied on my Reddit that I'm lazy and I have all this time to record a bunch of other stuff. Even after I explained to the guy, I work 70 plus hour weeks and everybody else I work with has a day job and they have their own life too. That's a little bit more important than my Let's Play show. Look guys, Brandon works for the Canadian military. I kind of get the feeling that his job takes priority over my Let's Plays, you know? Yeah, it keeps me a little busy. Yeah, I can't exactly get mad about that, can I? How much of a douche would I be to get wait, mad wait, over where that? where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I just assumed I was done here because I wasn't reading his dialogue because I, he, he, I am getting sick of the wordiness. He wants you to battle him. Oh, wait, why didn't he just battle me then? Because he gives you time to prepare. Uh... <laughs> because he's... 
because he's the only person in this game who's not like, I've seen you, we will battle. Oh, okay. no, that, that, at, from Gen 6 onwards, I feel like they give you a lot of time to prepare before uh, certain fights come up. Like if a rival shows up out of nowhere, they'll tell you, hey, you want to battle? Let's get started whenever you're ready. And then you can reorganize your team and then you can just go from there. That's true. So not counting the obviously not implemented Professor Oak fight in the first game, is this the first Pokemon game where you can have a battle with a professor? And when I say that, I mean main series. I'm sure you can in, like, yes. one of the stadium games or something. Yes. I'm sorry, is part of my name cut off on the screen? There's, it I is. swear to God, like, every single update... There we go. Every single update... Dry break. That, uh... That Discord has, they slightly changed the layout, and in some incredibly minor way, things get shifted around. And I bet you no one notices but me, because it messes with my layout on screen for the Let's Plays every time. They just shift things by like 10 pixels in random directions all the time, and it's really annoying. Um, absorb. yeah, I guess I'll absorb, yeah. yeah I was gonna stun spore, but then I noticed we're at the same level, so I'm not that worried. I crit, too. You know what? For a tail whip animation with this many Pokemon in the game, and they obviously couldn't put in the effort that they two crits really. They could they couldn't put in the effort that they had for something like um, something like Pokemon Stadium. That's not bad. Now hang Ooh. on. Um, the That's animation brutal. they use for tail whip, no matter who's using it, is just a, a stance where they just like pose at something. But then, regardless of what model they're using, they make the model hop up and turn around. And yeah. then, like, do that little, um, what's it called? Like, an effect of yeah, the yeah, tail yeah. wagging. Like, there's no tail wagging for whoever uses it. Yeah. yeah. I just I just think that's that's pretty good, all things considered. Uh, sorry, they were sending out the fire type? Mm -hmm. They were sending out the weird fish. You don't have anything good against it. Yeah, I was gonna... Yeah. Oh, no, I do. Well... Nothing really good against it. I not gonna do a whole lot. It's still a garbage Pokemon, but I just was trying to remember if I had water moves. You do. You're just not a water type, unfortunately. Yeah. And also, it's using an Azuril. So, we got corrected in the comments section on... I think we were talking about, like... I asked if... Azumarill? Is that the name of the final form? I was yeah, asking if it's all, any yeah. good, and you guys were like, Ah, it's okay. And a lot of people... Oh, God. A lot of people were saying, like... Um... Azumarill, huge power, and then, like, a combination of a move or two is common. Belly drum and aqua jet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, some like that. I, I don't know how common that actually is uh, in competitive, but people are saying that's really solid combo, apparently. Yeah, like I said at the time, it had a reign of terror right at the beginning of Gen 6, but after ah. a while, I just stopped hearing about it. Okay. So I, I figured it just kind of dropped off. Yeah, I can imagine it dropping off. Also, apparently, uh, I said something about how I'm really excited to see what new bug Pokemon there are. Uh, and there are, I literally saw the only new bug Pokemon in the entire game. Yep. Uh, yeah, because, like, I, all the comments were like, oh, oh, he is going to be disappointed when he finds out. It's like, oh, is there not? And a lot of people said, yeah, that's the only new bug type in the entire generation. I hmm. guess the, uh... There are some new Mega Evolutions for old bugs, but... Oh, I don't then, count that. I don't even yeah. like Mega Evolutions. I forgot that was the thing in this. I yeah. forgot that's what this was. <laughs> Pick your Kano starter. Oh! Oh, I... You know what? I heard about this when the game was new, but that was so long ago that I forgot. Okay, Bulbasaur. He's the best one. And by the best one, I mean the best. Not even Bulbasaur. going for the meme of a weird fish. Nope. I like Bulbasaur. I think the Bulbasaur is cool uh, until it's Venusaur, and then it's not cool anymore. I like Venusaur. Um, just put in the PC though, cause. Uh, but Venusaurite. <laughs> uh, I like Reserade. Reserade's cool. So he'll hold on to the Bulbasaur for you. He won't even send it to your box. If you ever want to come get it, you can uh, oh, okay. talk to him again. That's what he said. <laughs> All right, I'm well, it's not going to give this to you. <laughs> oh, uh, did, did we also want to address the other comment we saw on previous episodes about what each of these rivals represent? Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually thought that was really cool. Someone pointed out that they they represent different play styles that Game Freak has observed players play. 
And with that knowledge, uh, I think that the rival system is actually really cool then. I just hope that they do a good job of getting that across to the player, because I have not seen that yet. But I'm also like at the start of the game. They got lots of time. So to recap what that comment had said, for those of you wondering, uh, Sean, uh, yeah, Shauna is representation of like a new player to the games and isn't still trying to learn the ropes. Serena slash Callum is represent is a representation of the hardcore battlers. Like they will try to devise the best strategies and stuff. Uh, Tierno is represent is representative of uh, using Pokemon they want to use and not necessarily if they're good or not, just doing what they want. And <laughs> Trevor- Is that the guy from Five? Fifth gen? No, uh, no, he looks similar, but yeah. he, he isn't. Um, I'm trying to remember his name, Alder. Oh, he must be this game's um, villain. You got it. Yeah. No. I mean, the, fucking uh... look at him. <laughs> <laughs> also, the fourth rival is all about catching Pokemon for the Pokedex. Lysander. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like the like the guy from the daily presentation. <laughs> DP. Someone will get it. Daily presentation, DP, Deadly Premonition, General Lysander. I figured it out. You did it. You figured it out. And if anyone took longer than you, well, I guess they're dumb. That's that's the barometer of how you're smart or dumb. Have you played Deadly Premonition 1? <laughs> so basically, if you couldn't get the game to run, which is completely believable, that makes you dumb. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I did read everything he had to say about the Mega Evolution stuff. I was skipping through it pretty fast because I don't give a fuck about Mega Evolutions. I never liked that mechanic. However, I was reading it just in case something important came up. Mm -hmm. I like to evolve my Digimon halfway through the battle and then have them revert afterwards. It's my favorite. I never liked it. I think that they kind of did a slightly better version of it in Shield, although I still have not beaten Shield. Not even halfway through S.H.I.E.L.D. because I got way too busy. <laughs> well, instead of them being Mega Evolutions, they're just... Like... Resizing it in Photoshop. Your Pokémon is big now! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and like the, the moves change and stuff. Uh, again, I like the idea of it uh, more yeah. than I actually like what it is. I like the big stadium fights. I think it's a cool spectacle. It's just... I like them being in a stadium. That's really cool. I think that they could have made it super exciting and awesome in a different way than just kind of like a mega evolution thing, you know? Um, I, I think they could have not done that and made it really interesting in S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, where like your people grow and whatever. They could have done something else. I don't know, crazy make weather my effects. monster grow. I was just thinking that once <laughs> I said it out loud. So what are all these buildings? I. Some of them Wait. are kind of pointless, but uh, here's where you can buy evolutionary stones. Oh, I was trying to get to the sign and the game forced me in. It's terrible. I, this control's yeah. so, oh yeah. yep. my don't, God. Don't worry about it. Lumio <laughs> City is the only city in the whole game that okay. will behave like this. Okay. And you can't go that way because the construction guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. A power outage. I'm sorry. I can't go to the minuscule Eiffel Tower. This is bullshit. Why did I come here? It's much bigger in the square it's in, for some reason. That's not... That's... It's much bigger when you're near it. <laughs> it fucking... Uh, c come on! Come on, camera! Let me... Mm, no, I... Mm. Okay, oh, look, all I'm gonna say is if the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower is like 1 100th one to the size of Washington Monument, you've got an issue. Oh, no. I hate this place. <laughs> this is pretty much for vanity, and you do not need to be here. PR video studio? Yeah, you can make a video. I'm No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'll try it some other time. I want to make progress. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you then, can leave uh, town now, right? So across the way is the Pokemon Center. You don't need to be there. But if you keep going left, then you can end up at the cafe Serena ended up at. Uh, there she is. She's hanging out right there. Is that her? Yeah. I don't know what any of them look like either than Guts, man. Serena's got a red dress and a ponytail. That's pretty much all you need to know about her. Okay. Just hanging out in the cafe. That's where they talk. 
Yep. The Lysander Labs, the Holocaster. So he's an inventor, or at least he owns the company that invented it. Mm-hmm. One of the most famous movie stars in the world. That's weird. That's my other name. Music here is so, so weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's doing an okay job of building him up as, like, he has this very rigid, strange worldview. I feel like I should be in a dungeon. Welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> yeah. I could see this being a cave theme. That's my other name. He's weird. Just sees two people looking at them and is like, this is the most famous person ever. Uh, she's beautiful. Oh, I wish everyone was be beautiful. Bye now. <laughs> she should never be ugly. Why does she stand like that? I don't know. She looks what? so uncomfortable. She's got like these wing things that are like anti-gravity. Is that part of her shirt? Maybe like a uh. scarf. Huh. No, <laughs> I guess if you're a trainer, you battle everyone no matter who they are. Wait, beat up that old lady over on the, on the chair. I think we battled some preschoolers on our way into town, if I remember right. I do like that you almost always start off by fighting preschoolers. Yeah, that's something like funny about catchers. that. It's like, I'm my character's like at least 10. Why am I fighting preschoolers? Okay, this establishment sucks. I think you have to fight her right now. I don't know if it's right now or if it's she'll catch up to you later. Oh, OK, probably later, because she was just saying she'd love to battle me one day. And, I, you know, that just kind of made me think it's in the future. OK, yeah, yeah she'll OK, yeah. Yourself. So you must be good to go onto the route. Yeah, you can uh, hang a slight left. Oh. And ah. then head right out of there. OK, oh. A hollow clip? Oh, is that like a video message? Yeah. Because it was called a clip. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh, he's going to give you an O power. That's right. That's one hell of a look this guy has to him. Mr. Bonding, have you heard about O powers? All right, this is some stranger danger right here. No, Mr. Bonding, I expect you to die. Make your Pokemon stronger and help you make more money. This is some snake oil shit. No, I'm not a Scientologist. Get away from me. What? This is a neat little feature. Um that uh, is just a way of buffing yourself during the main game. I... So on that bottom screen, click that top middle icon. Uh... I... Oh! I To actually use the touchpad is incredibly inconvenient, by the way. Yeah. Um... Go to the right. Go to O-Power. Yeah. And now you can activate any one of these at any time to increase uh, your attack power for a few minutes in battle uh, to give yourself better ability to catch Pokemon, to restore your health a little bit, or uh, to raise your defense. Maybe I'll use it at some point, but probably not. Uh, I'm learning because I didn't even read his dialogue when I played this game and I didn't know you could do that. Oh, Lucario. <laughs> I get the feeling little features like that aren't meant for players like me. I think that's meant for if it's your first time and you need some help along the way, which is perfectly fine to have in the game, but it's not my cup of tea. It really helps when you get the egg hatching power and you're hatching a bunch of eggs. Oh, yeah, sure. For stuff like that, then, then whatever. But I don't really want the help in battle. Fair. I, 
I like the casual Lucario just walks up to you. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Can read people's auras. Is that why they have the move Aura Sphere? At least I yeah, think it's they a, do. It's got a lot to do with aura. Okay. So I've never liked Lucario. Why is it so famous? I don't understand. I always thought it looked kind of bland. Eh. It was one of the first Gen 4 Pokemon who showed up. It had a bit of emphasis in one, a few of the movies. Um, it's just kind of been an icon for a while. To me, it's just kind of bland. Uh, yeah. Blue Mewtwo. So is it that... I don't get the Mewtwo vibe, but... Is it that it's a ninja, probably? Or is it that people are furries? Could be the latter. I, I think it's just because of the prevalence in the show, really. Maybe. By the way, I'd recommend using Ember more often than not with Brave Yeah, Sunfish. yeah, I, I should have. I just wasn't thinking. Yeah. I do like the animation a lot. There are a good number of Pokemon on this route, just so you know. That I haven't seen yet, or at least haven't caught yet. Uh, there's a there's both. yeah okay. quite a few you haven't seen. There was not. a route uh, off to the right of the first gem town that we never visited, but uh, it's completely optional. I just want to yeah swap those. People um, were pointing that out in the comments last time. Yeah, no reason not to swap it. Scratch is probably going to see very little use. Um, so that whole oh, thing. When I say meeting, that, I meant the, the root, but anyway. Um, the. Hey, there shit. we go. What was I saying? Um. Shit. Comment uh, section, <laughs> root. The thing where you get badges and it increases the amount. That's a grass type, isn't he? He's gonna get one shot. Oh, thank God. Okay. Nice. I also like his design, by the way. Okay, that animation was dodgy. Um, good move, though. Anyway. Um. For fuck's sake. <laughs> what was I saying? I'm sorry. I fucking hate when I have a thought on the tip of my tongue and I lose it. That is the worst sensation in the world. And People I get it all the time. Talking comments about another root. Uh, organizing Ember instead of Scratch. Talking about animations. Um, Nothing to do with literally any of that. I'll tell you if I remember. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's catch, how many more Pokemon can I catch in here? And like, how long do you think it would take? Uh, well, you caught that one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, potentially six other Pokemon that you can see in this area. Wow, really? Is it all in this patch of grass? Or do I need to go to different areas? I know there are colored flowers <laughs> later on. Okay, there cool. Are colored, there are colored flowers and there's also a couple of horde battles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a new mechanic, right? Okay, I'm a little worried I'd one shot with Ember, but probably no, not. No, Ember wouldn't have one shot it. I just don't remember how weak Gulpin is. I haven't used it much. Mm hmm Alright, I'm switching. <laughs> Wasn't that a sound effect from Ocarina of Time? <laughs> I'm it's probably think. something similar. Yeah. I mean I'm I'm not saying it's the exact same sound effect, I just mean like that sounds similar. Yeah, okay, to... I like that. That animation there was good. Okay. Uh, what's the actual power of Peck compared to um, um said Wing Attack? Thirty-five versus thirty-five on Peck and uh, forty on Quick Attack. Ah, uh, and I would assume I'm normal in flying. You are, yeah. Okay, Quick Attack is a little stronger then. Ugh. Okay, we got a slow battle on our hands here. Come on, I want to catch it. I was going to say, don't... you probably could have caught it there. Yeah, yellow health for Gulpin would probably be good. Yeah, I'm not very good with people's, like, catch rates and stuff. I just normally do it by level. Like, it's only level 10. Eh. There we go. Once you get the ability to get quick balls, I would highly recommend it in investing in those. Yeah, those are pretty good. Uh, I also like those ones where you can catch things lower level than you easily. That can be nice. Mm hmm Nest balls. Yep. Ooh, I do like charm, and I'm sure he's got some garbage. I don't need bubble anymore. I was going to say water sport. 
that's garbage too, but I'll never use bubble. I got water gun. I was gonna, I was gonna say tail whip because I never <laughs> we all had different options, like ideas. <laughs> Look, we have a lot of garbage on that Pokemon. <laughs> on, on that, that garbage, garbage Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else can I find? A lot. Oh we wow, go. we're finding a lot of new things. Is that normal? It is normal, yes. Okay. Furfru. Oh my god, I found Fatima's favorite Pokemon. Really? Yes, Fru is her favorite word. But it's so dumb looking. <laughs> yeah, but that I'm sure if I showed that to her, that'd be your favorite Pokemon. You are not going to do a whole lot to the... Yeah, I don't expect to. I just want to get to the yellow health. Mm, I, I didn't want to kill it. I seem to remember this one actually having a high catch, or yeah, low catch rate. Oh, okay. Uh, but you'll yeah. see them all the time. It's one of the higher percentages. Okay. There's a feature in this game that allows you to customize your fur fru um, to look different. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's just cosmetic. Oh, oh, Such man, a dumb ever. sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use I'll use absorb. That can't possibly kill it unless I crit. Just use stun spore. Oh yeah, that, that's a good idea too. Words all come together, and the sentence is just like makes you want to just die. Yeah, like Nancy Drew Shadow Water's Edge. That like, no, no, he put the one with the pineapple earrings next to the one with the heart emoji or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, I think Lucario is a deep character. No, Lucario is was... a Pokemon. Okay, no, I I thought the thing I was talking about before. I was like, wait, was it about Lucario? No, I don't think it was. I, I was giving a. Uh... An example off the top of my head of one of those statements where you just have to stop and think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to remember what the fuck I was talking about, and it's. I'll probably remember it when I'm editing this later today. I'll just use a Pokeball. I'll probably remember it when I'm editing it later today. If I do, I'll have put it on screen. Because I know it pisses people off when people don't finish a thought, because it's. You want to know. Like, I'm that way when I watch a Let's Play video. Brandon, do you have Furfru's page open right now? No. Why? Do you want me to open it? I was curious to know what uh, its ability was. Fur, Furfru. I had to guess on how to how to spell that. Uh, it's fur coat. Fur coat. Remind me again what that I... does. Uh, reduces damage taken from physical attacks by fifty percent. Mm, that's what I thought it was. There we go. Sorry. Oh it, has I, high, it basically has higher defense than what it uh, oh normally should have. Oh my god, that's an incredible Pokemon. Whoa, that's incredible. You'll have to tell them why it's so incredible in the next episode, because we're in a massive time crunch. On the next episode, what was the thing Brandon heard that was absolutely incredible? Until next time, have a nice day.